Hi everyone, today I would like to show you a little bit around LibWizard so that you have an idea what happens behind the scenes when you go in to create one of these LibWizard tutorials. And I've got a nice overview video up on the course website for you, which will give you an overview of what it is. But I wanted to show you, this is your dashboard that you get when you sign in to LibWizard. And once again, this is a SpringShare product, a SpringShare application. So uh, LibGuides, if you also subscribe to LibGuides, will also be on your menu up here. And it has a very similar interface. So just to show you around a little bit, with LibWizard, you can create forms um, to get feedback from your patrons. You can conduct surveys, quizzes, tutorials and assessments and I've actually played around with this a bit and and I really like it. I'm a big fan of LibGuides and I'm very excited about creating more of these tutorials but I'll show you around the one that I have created to introduce our library patrons to all of the different ways that they can access our ebooks. So you can set up two different types of LibWizard tutorials. You can create an embedded tutorial that has a little help link such as this one um, that comes out of the page that the viewer is on and if they click it then they get a tutorial or you can create a standalone tutorial and that's the kind that I chose. Just to go back one screen here, if I wanted to create a brand new one, I could click up here, create new. I could start with a blank slate. I could start with a copy of the tutorial I've already created to create an embedded tutorial or a standalone. And here is where I provide the name and title and everything like that. So that's how you would start from scratch, but I'm just gonna show you around briefly this one that I've already created. So over here on the left is all of the basic information, like the title. You can make up any short URL uh, name for your tutorial. So I've named mine Nylee eBooks, and then that will become a part of the URL. Uh, when you go to share URL, you'll see that it put Nylee eBooks at the end of my URL string here. You can also add a description. You can uh, limit who can see it privacy settings, you can set some permissions for who can work on it and edit it. There are a lot of options here that you can play around with. A lot of them have to do with the look and feel and appearance of your tutorial. So check these out. This is also where you get the widget code if you wanna embed, it, embed this tutorial somewhere, maybe on the side of your library catalog, for example, if it's going to be a tutorial about your catalog, and then some advanced settings here. But just to come back, the basic info is here. What you do is you create individual slides, which will sit on the side of, of a website or a video or whatever you want people to interact with or look at or watch in order to take your tutorial. And what I'm going to do is I will just show you the one that I have created so that you get an example of what kinds of things you can do. So here's my standalone tutorial. And if I were to embed this into a page, I would work a little bit more with the CSS of how this looks. But for now, this is fine. So welcome to the ebooks tutorial. So my goal was to show people around our website and make sure that they know that there are four ways that you can get to our eBooks. So I set the website to show up in the larger pane and then you can set instructions, questions, you can have images and videos over here on the left-hand side. So this is a side-by-side -side tutorial. And this pops up, which is very helpful, just in case the website doesn't load, people can open up the website in another browser. Okay, so my first question or activity is there are four easy ways to access our eBooks. Through our eBooks page, by searching our catalog, by searching our All Collections Federated Search, through our Electronic Resources page, all of the above. The user would read through that, and select all of the above and go to the next slide. Now that they're kind of comfortable with the tutorial element here, I've got them 
going in and doing activities on the next slide. Okay, so my activity is navigate to our ebooks page on the electronic resources menu. Which ebook collection is discussed and linked to on the left? And the answer is our EBL ebooks. So now they've gone in and they see that there are two ebook collections discussed on this book, on this page. So next slide. The next activity that I'll have them do is to click into our electronic resources page. What other ebook collections are listed there? So now they are going to see both of our ebook collections and all of our electronic resources or remote access databases, but only two of them are ebook collections. And that would be the ProQuest ebook collection, and which we've already talked about, and the OverDrive ebook collection. Okay, and then the next activity will be to search our online catalog at the top of the NILI site for Lawyer Bubble. Were you able to access an ebook from your results? So I'll go in and do that. Okay, and I am able to get to an ebook. So I'll go back to the tutorial and say yes. And the answer is that's great. You can also conduct an advanced search and limit your results by media type to ebooks. So next slide. The next activity is select all collections from the NILI search to use our federated search, which aggregates content from both our ebook collections, our online catalog, our electronic resources, et cetera. So I've got the little image here and there's the all collections. Conduct a search for economics of law. How many ebook results did you get? Okay, and for ebooks, I got 50 results back. So I'll put that here. And then find the LibGuides menu on the NILI.org website. Click into the eBooks LibGuide. Is there information about the ProQuest eBooks there? Yes, there is. So now they know that, there, that we have a LibGuide with all sorts of information about our eBook programs. Is there information on the ebooks libguide about how to download OverDrive ebooks? So we'll click in there and there is information about how to download titles. So yes. And the end slide is congratulations. You now know four easy ways to access our NILI ebooks and how to get more information about using them. Okay, so all of those slides, now you can see here, this is how they work behind the scenes. This is the welcome screen, where I had the welcome to all about NILI eBooks and begin here. Here is one of the slides, four ways to access our eBooks. That was the very first slide. So I'll go to slide here and you tell it what website you want it to pull up. You might even just want it to do a different type of content. You might want it to pull up a guide from LibGuides, which is very easy to do since this is a Springshare product. You could also instead have it bring up an image or a PDF or a video that you embed. It doesn't have to be a website on the right there that they're interacting with. That's just what I chose to do because that would be useful for my library. But once you tell the slide what content is going to be in the center, then you have some, you have a question or a piece of information or instructions. And that's what this is. I'm saying that there are four easy ways to access our ebooks. 
And then I've got the choices. Remember the all of the above was one. So here's where you put in your question or your instructions, your possible answers, and then you go into the answer properties and you tell it which one is the correct answer. And then you can select whether or not you want to require the correct answer for the user to continue. And then you don't even have to display those correct or wrong messages when they respond, but I prefer that in a tutorial. You can also save questions like this or instructions to the bank. And in that way, you can access them from other tutorials that you might be building. Okay, I'll go back to the tutorial here. Oh, I'm going to save any changes that I made all the time and go back to the tutorial. So that was just the first slide. Here's another slide. And what you get here is your slides, your field, and the question bank. So for this slide, again, I'm having it put Niley.org website right in the center, uh, the, the large right pane. And then I'm having them navigate to the eBooks page. And then here are the answer choices that I gave. I'll go to the answer properties and I tell it the correct answer. And that is how you would build a tutorial. When you're all done, you just click share URL and then you paste that into your, your website or you can grab the widget code if you want to embed it in your website or on the sidebar of your online catalog. But if you just want to share it, you would just do that. And there's the tutorial. You also have options here in your settings and in your thank you screen too, you've got some, some other options where you can email the user the results of the tutorial or assessment. You can give them a certificate of completion if you'd like. You can display grades and display correct answers. So there are a lot of settings and things that you can choose, but that's how you would go about building one of these tutorials. And that's it for LibWizard.